Hi everyone and welcome to Tree Sciences and Practices and welcome to the Urban Forestry Technician Program. My name is Tom Michael. I'm the coordinator for the Urban Forestry Program and I'm very sorry to have to introduce myself this way uh, in week one of your new program. Uh, I am away during the first week of uh, September with the forestry program at the fall, uh, fall camp. So I do apologize. Um, in the meantime, I look forward to meeting you in week two. Um, if you need anything, you can access me by email is the best bet for this um, for this week. Um, and by all means, I will be in touch with you as soon as I get back. Um, while I'm away, I do have some information I wanted to share with you um, in regards to getting you started for tree sciences and practices. And that is included in this video on tree measuring tools. Um, so over the course of the semester, you're going to be using different measurement tools. Some of you may have never seen these before, so it's just a, a bit of an information session to help you get acquainted with some of the tools that we'll be using. Uh, we will have some time later in the semester to be practicing these and of course I'll follow up with some testing. So just to get started, I want to introduce you to a tool called a clinometer. There are different forms of clinometers. The one we're going to use is a Sunto, and that is the company name, so quite often we just refer to these as Suntos. These clinometers or Suntos are used for measuring heights. So it help us, helps us to give an accurate measurement of the height of a tree. And you'll see in this one we have two scales. There's a 1 to 20 scale on the left and on the right there is a 1 to 15 scale. So this scale refers to the measurement that you'll see inside of this clinometer when we look through a looking glass which is on the end here which you'll see in a, in a few seconds. Um, de depending on the Sunto you're using, there might be different scales. Um, this one has two scales, some there are three scales where there's an additional percent scale as well. <clears throat> so like I said, the, those scales that you see, 1 to 20 or 1 to 15, whatever it might be, what that means is that when we are taking a measurement of a tree, we are standing back at a given distance away from the tree. 1 to 20 would mean we're standing 20 meters away from the base of the tree. 1 to 15 means we're standing 15 meters away from the base of the tree. And when we stand that far back, 15 meters or 20 meters, we look through the looking glass. So this is the glass I was talking about earlier at the end of the Sunto. And what that does is gives us a scale inside of that that we are trying to line up. Here it is right here. You should see several number scales. Uh, in this case, because there are only two scales shown, there is on the left a 20 meter scale, on the right a 15 meter scale. If you are unsure which one to look at, you look through the looking glass here and lift the zoom to all the way up in the air and it will tell you at the top and at the bottom of that scale which scale it is you're looking for, or it'll say on the instructions on the scale on the outside. When we are measuring a tree, we are going to use this crosshair as our reference. And we will aim this crosshair at the top of the tree, where the top of the foliage might be touching here, and then at the base of the tree, right where the root flare is touching, if that was the root flare. Okay, that is where we will take the reading. Okay, a few things to keep in mind. We have zero. Zero is the reference point. Um, only to tell us where we are looking if the tree if we were looking at level okay and I'll explain that a little bit further on um, do keep in mind that when you locate a zero there are negative numbers and positive numbers and it is very important to keep this straight if you are recording a negative say 1.5 or a positive 1.5 it's very important to keep those straight and I'll show you that in a little while as well So measuring a tree, we need to have two measurements to, in order to measure height. And the reason for this, obviously the one, we're looking to the top of the tree. And keep in mind, we want to know where the highest point of this tree is. If we are distorted by looking into the canopy at the outer edge, for instance, this person measuring, the angle is going to be off. And if we are looking up here, just by looking at the tree instead of projecting our eye through the canopy to the center of the tree it is going to affect our measurements okay if we're looking out to the outer edge where the closest foliage is to us it's going to make us think or make the readings look like the tree is much taller than it actually is 
Okay, so you must make sure that if it's a broad canopy tree, such as this example, we want to be looking through, projecting through to find the central highest point of the tree. Now, keep in mind we were talking about zero on that scale earlier. Zero pretty much would tell us if we were looking straight through our Sunto, we would be looking level, and that would be at zero if that is looking level. Okay, and we are missing this part, the lower part of the tree, if we don't include that. Okay, so we want to take a top reading measurement and then we want to project down to the base of the tree where that root flare comes into contact with the ground and take another measurement there. So we're going to have two numbers. So our math formula is pretty simple. It's A minus B, where A is the top reading. We subtract it from the bottom reading. And that number, A minus B, equals the height in meters if we are measuring 20 meters or 15 meters back. Okay, so here's an example we're going to work through. Uh, we have a beautiful Dawn Redwood here that we want to measure. So first step, we're going to stand back using a 30 meter tape to give us the distance of how far back we're going to stand if it's 1 to 15 or 1 to 20. And whatever scale that is on our Sunto, we're going to use that. We can ignore the other scale and just use the scale that applies to where we are standing. Through one eye, we're going to project through and look at the upper canopy, look at where the peak of that top, of the highest part of that tree is. With our other eye, we're going to peer through the looking glass of the Sunto, find the crosshair, and then find that number. And then we'll read that number of what, um, what we have. We'll record that number and then repeat the same process, this time looking down at the base of the tree to find out what it is. Um, and make sure when we are reading this bottom number that we pay attention to if it is a negative number or a positive number. This will depend on the type of topography you're standing on. If you're up a slope or down a slope, um, it can affect that reading. Okay, so do pay close attention if it is a negative or positive number. Okay, so here's our person taking with the Sunto, taking that reading and remember it now. In this case, a conifer is quite nice because we have uh, we don't have to project through a, a broad canopy. You'll find it goes right to the point. So we have our Sunto measuring the top reading. We have plus 18. So we'll record that. And remember, level is looking out straight in front of us. That's not accurate. So we're going to go to the bottom reading. And that projects below zero, which is absolutely fine. It just means we are standing up higher than the base of this tree and our bottom reading is negative 1.5. This is our 30 meter tape that we use on campus. Uh, we'll measure out, if we're using a 1 to 20 meter scale, we'll measure out 20 meters from the base of the tree out and take the measurement from there. Okay, so our readings are plus 18 and minus 1.5. Our math is 18 minus negative 1.5 and remember two negatives um, make a positive for addition and we have 18 plus 1.5 equals 19.5 that tells us that the tree is 19.5 meters tall okay so keep that in mind the way I like to remember it is that if we were looking at zero as a bottom reading and 18 at the top that's 18 meters but we have another meter and a half that we have to add on below zero so it's the negative part giving us 19.5 Okay, so with my Sunto clinometer, I'm going to be looking at this trembling aspen you can see in the background here. I'm going to measure the height with that. Um, on the ground, I'm going to use a, a 1 to 20 meter scale. That gives me a chance to stand back further from the ground to get a, a better shot of, of the canopy. So it depends on where you are, if you're in, a, in really tight quarters in a forest or uh, if you have more space it might depict on if you're going to be at a 15 per, a 1 to 15 scale or a 1 to 20 scale so here I like to use a 1 to 20 scale whenever I can just to get back a little further to get a better view of that tree uh, you can see that white line that's out on the ground that's my 30 meter tape that I've used and I've stretched it out 20 meters so I'm going to stand at the back side of 20 meters um, and then take my shot from there Okay, so I just hold the Sunto look like so, and then I'm just going to stand back and look up like this. Um, so we'll get started. So I, here I have marked out 
1 to 20 meters. Take a reading from the top. And I'm looking at the upper part of the crown. And we should stress that in this case with this trembling aspen, I'm not sure if you can see it from the, the television screen or not, but it's it's a fairly straight form to this tree. So it's there's not a lot of competition with looking at the reading at the top of the tree. Some trees, when you get a really wide, broad crown, might, if we're not careful, we'll, we'll take a, a shot of that outside branch thinking that's the highest point, but it's not. So make sure that when you are taking your measurements, you're projecting through the tree to the center of the top of the crown, not the outer branches, because that's going to make that measurement inaccurate. Okay, so we're going to project through the central branches until we see the actual highest part of the tree. Uh, at a 1 to 20 scale, that is a little more effective. 1 to 15, that's another problem where it can distort us a little bit if we're not careful. Okay, so I'm going to take that reading through the central top part of the tree. 1 to 15, 1 to 20 meter scale. I've got about 16 right on, 16.0 uh, to the upper part of the canopy. So once I have that number, keep that in the back of my head. I look at the bottom reading. So again, I'm going to project through the long grass and see right at the bottom where that trunk meets the ground. Sometimes if I'm working with a partner, we can tromp down that grass or something just so we can see it. But in this case, I have an idea, so I am projecting through the long grass to get a reading of the trunk. And remember, it's not at zero because that would be at level. So I'm looking below that. And my reading is minus 1.25. Okay, so I have 16 at the top, negative 1.25 at the bottom because my reading is below zero. If I were reading at zero right on, that would put me at roughly breast height and that would be inaccurate of a reading for measurements. So my formula is simple, it's just the top minus the bottom. And in this case it's plus 16 at the top minus negative 1.25. So we convert, that would be 16 plus 1.25. Our total height of that tree is 17.25 meters.